welcome to my channel today's topic is photon before i start this topic i would kindly request all my listeners who have not done so far to like subscribe and share my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my latest videos now this topic comes under quantum mechanics and particle physics i would highly recommend to watch my videos on quantum mechanics that not only highlight the most fundamental and basic concepts of quantum mechanics or quantum physics but individually i have dealt there with light as a particle and the photon and i have also made a video on a very famous example of the photoelectric effect that also indicates particle nature of electromagnetic radiation you will also learn there that not only electromagnetic radiation but actually whole matter has dual nature that is sometimes it behaves like a particle and sometimes it behaves like waves the photon is a discrete quantum of light or packet of electromagnetic energy that has some specific set of properties its charge is zero its spin is one and it can have two possible orientations clockwise or anti clockwise energy of a photon is given by the famous planck's equation e equals h nu where h is planck's constant and its value is 6.63 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 joules into seconds in si units and nu is the frequency of the incident radiation now albert einstein based his ideas on the work of a german physicist max planck part of the work max planck looked at in 1901 was about black body radiations he suggested that electromagnetic energy comes only in lumps called quanta which is plural of quantum that is energy is quantized it is emitted in discrete forms only the planck's equation e equals h nu indicates that energy of electromagnetic radiations is proportional to its frequency as we can see in this graph that this graph gives a straight line that indicates that energy is a function of frequency of incident photons now whole of quantum theory is developed based on the magic formula e equals h nu that establishes a universal relationship between the frequency of an oscillating process and the energy associated with such a process the photons travel at the speed of light in vacuum have a momentum and are linearly or circularly polarized they have a wavelength associated with them photons are created in atomic transitions thermal motion and by matter antimatter annihilation now in this diagram you can see that if energy of the incident photon goes on increasing the corresponding values of wavelength will decrease as wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional to each other high frequency means lower wavelength and low frequency or low energy means higher wavelength and it must be noted that frequency is also proportional to energy as given is given by planck's equation it must be noted that the total density of the universe is the sum of the energy densities of vacuum matter and the photons scientists are studying different theories in which a part of light photons interact with extra galactic magnetic fields resulting in transformation into hypothetical weakly interacting elementary particles or excyons which turns into photons due to the interaction with magnetic fields these theories led scientists to recreate an extremely refined model of the cosmic web and of its magnetic fields the cosmic web is a network of filaments composed of gas and dark matter present throughout the universe